Yeah, it's your boy AG. We we got a special treat tonight, man. We got my man Bobby Pettigrew Jr. in the house. You know what I mean, out of Brownsville, New York. How you doing, champ? Doing good. How you doing? Great, great, man. It's a pleasure to have you, man. So as we know, you out of Brownsville, New York, training out of Rockaway Ropes under the tutelage of Kenyatta Harris. Am I correct? Yes, and so Anthony I, Santiago. Nice. So just how, how how's that been like, man? What's it like training over there and stuff like that? Great experience over there. We have a lot of fun training. We work hard, dedicated. We focus on skill. We just get straight to business. Right. That's the same gym as uh, Joseph Mac Williams. Am I correct? Yeah, Joseph Mac Williams trained there. Dante Lane. Kessler, everybody, whole bunch of champions. Nice, nice. So I mean, you, 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 right now, you're 15 years old, right, champ? 15. I turned 16 December 30th. Nice. And how, how long you been doing this for, man? Wait, December 30th is your birthday, you said? Yeah, yeah, that's my birthday. Okay, okay. So you, you, yeah, you yeah. gotta be 16 now. Yeah. Um, I've been boxing since I was seven. Wow. Yeah. And what, what, what got you into the sport, man? What, what made you fall in love with it? What got you involved? I fell in love with the sport. Well, I always been fighting. Like all my life, I've been fighting. Even before I got brought to the gym, when my mm-hmm. pops brought me to the gym when I was seven years old, and ever since then, I never stopped going. Wow. Yeah. And when when did you realize, like, man, this is what I love. This is for me. Instantly. Like it's like I was a natural. I came in. I came in the gym. I already had my stance. I knew how to throw my punches correctly. You know, it just took time and effort and dedication. And that's what brought it a long way. Right. Now, you are you are a five-time national champion, am I correct? Yeah. So w- what's been, like, your most special moment so far as far as, you know, being involved in boxing? My most special moment? um, Probably my last national championship. The, um, It was the USA Boxing National Championship 2019. You know, hmm. to get on the USA team, that, that tournament was the best of me. You know why? Because I put a lot of time and effort into that one. Training two, three times a day, going to school, you know, it took a lot. I mean, we trained alongside Dante Lane, we focused every day in the gym. It took, it took a lot of time and dedication. Right, right, because you're still in school, obviously. I mean, how's that been like? Man, how you, how you juggle the two? Because that must be a little challenging. At school, I, I'm focused on school at all times when I'm not at the gym. So that's just, you know, school first and then boxing. Nice, nice. So, I mean, I've seen you in the gym with the pros, man. Who are some of the uh, most familiar names you you know you sparred with and work with and stuff like that? A um, couple of pros I work with. You know, when I was younger, we I got I got in the ring. Adrian Brona, Damian Jacobs, stuff like that, just to play around. You know, mm. I was a little younger, but I I, I sparred Duke Micah. You know, right. got, to, got to watch Pistol Pete work, Edgar Belenga. The Revianchenko, you know, Joseph Mac Williams, I get I get to see them spar, you know, taking a lot of knowledge. Nice, nice. Yeah. Now, I mean, you you out of you out of Brownsville, man. Just what's that been like growing up out of there having to stay focused? That's one of the roughest, you know, I mean, neighborhoods and I would say in the country, maybe even in the world. You know, it's not really tough. I mean, for people that, that doesn't live in Brownsville, they don't know what it's like to live in Brownsville. So I just kind of keep my head on. I keep my head straight. You know, I got a great father figure. My mom is here. You know, they just keep me on a straight path. You know, I got a lot of role models around me. Everyone's doing good around me. So I'm pushed to do great. Right, right. And I mean, that that's, I seen you had a video recently uh, through uh, Bruce Carrington, Shushu. You know yeah, I mean, he yeah. was showing you some love as well, man. You know, Brownsville's finest. Yeah, definitely. We live about two blocks away from each other. You oh, know, wow. We, and he always show me love. Right, because, I mean, I, I don't know if you know this, but Browns was, I believe, the only town in the world that's had three undisputed champions. Yeah. With, with Zab Judah, Mike Tyson, and Riddick Bowe. Yeah, definitely. Browns all got champions, you know. Just, you just got to put them You got to put them together. Everybody got to stay focused. Right, it's something in that water, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, I mean, what, what kind of goals do you have uh, as far as your career, Chan? What do you want to accomplish in the sport? Well, down the line, I want to be 2024 Olympic gold medalist and going for the Olympics. And then, you know, turn professional, undisputed champion, become champion of the world. I want to leave a great mark in this sport. Right. And you're currently in the lightweight division, am I correct? Yeah, lightweight division, 141 pounds. Nice. So so who are some of the fighters that that, that you study or look up to, man, that you really, you know what I mean, watch to sharpen up your game? I watch, I watch a lot of Floyd Mayweather, you know, Canelo. I just started watching a lot of Tiafima Lopez, Lomachenko. I, I I try to take a lot from every great fighter. You know, Marvin Hagler, 
Mm. You study Hector Camacho. Um, what's his name? Um, we was just talking about him yesterday. Holyfield, Mike Tyson, Jab Judy. I, I take bits and pieces from every great fighter. Not just make that's what make a great fighter. You no, know? right, of course. Now you you mentioned you know uh, having important role models in your life. I believe your father is one of them, right? Definitely. So I mean, what's what's that relationship like? What's it like? You know, knowing you have a support there, and you know, having him guide you through this. My support, um, my relationship, me, me and my father. You know, every every father and son got their ups and downs. Mm -hmm. You know, he never leave me stray. You know, he keep me he keep me on the right path. He never leave me any direction. You could tell our our relationship is great because he cares about me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Never left. He's he always been in my life. Always will be in my life. You know, keep me on the right direction. He never. Never tell me nothing wrong. Always something to better benefit from. You get what I'm saying? Of course. Yeah, and I mean, that's important, man, to have, you know what I mean, that father figure, or just the role yeah. models, too, in general, just to help you, man. Definitely. Right. So who so, so who are some of the guys in the, in the sport today that you like their style or you see you like what they're doing? Tia Fimo Lopez, um, mm -hmm. Canelo, Shakur Stevenson, definitely, you know, real sharp. Um, B-Hop. Africa, you know, I, I watched them. Right, watched them. right. I grew up around them as well. Um, and I, I watched a lot of amateur fighters as well. Keystone Davis, Bruce Carrington, Dante mm -hmm. Lane. I get to train beside Dante Lane. So, you know, he, you know, watch him take bits and pieces. You know, he got, yeah. Yeah, you're around a whole lot of talent, man. I mean, there's no ceiling for you right now, champ. So, I mean, what, what, what are some of your hobbies, man, so the fans get to know you a little better? What are some things you like to do when you're not focused uh, on boxing or school and no, stuff I'm like that? On boxing in school. I like to play the game, hang out with my girl, you know. I just be chilling. I don't I do not do too much. You know what I'm saying? I, I stay in the gym for the most part. And I just be chilling. Right. Not for basketball, you know, okay. but I start, yeah. You into basketball a lot? Yeah, I'm into basketball. I watch a lot of basketball. I could play, too. Oh, I word? Definitely. <laughs> Wait, so, what position you play? Point guard. Oh, nice. You're point Definitely. guard. <laughs> right, right. Now, champ, like, for, for, for those that haven't seen you, man, how would you describe your style in the ring? You know, how, how, how you get it down, and, you know what I mean, once you win there? I can't pinpoint a fighter that I fight like mm -hmm. because I, I watch everybody, I take from everybody. But if I had to say, um, I can't even say. Let's just say this. I I apply a lot of pressure. You know, okay. I, I don't pressure the I don't pressure my opponent, but my footwork, you know, I keep them thinking. You know, mm. I box very well. Uh, I box very well from the end of my job. I work on my job a lot. You know, my defense is good. And I stay in the ring, stay focused. You know, I never take my eyes off my opponent. I keep my hands working, have moving defense. You know, defense is the key to boxing. Right. But, Right, and I believe you're the number one ranked in the country, right? Definitely, number one ranked in the country. Wow, that's crazy, man. That's what's up, champ. Unfortunately, we couldn't fight all year, so I couldn't right. fight. Yeah, but I'm definitely looking forward to it in 2021. I think they got a new date, March 25th to April 3rd, I believe. Man, that's crazy, because, I mean, y'all was supposed to uh, fight. I mean, I know earlier in 2020, but also it was scheduled for, for December, right, in Louisiana? Yeah. Um, it was supposed to be last week. We were wow. supposed to be competing last week. They canceled it the week before. Man, yeah. that's crazy, man. I was ready to go, you know. I could imagine because you guys, you know what I mean, was training daily, getting ready for that moment, and then it just yeah. got postponed. So that's whack. Like, well, I mean, it just, that just, it just gave us more time, you know. I mean, with the circumstances going around, going on around us, you can't really get mad. What, what can we expect? You know what I'm saying? They can't put our health on the line because then they'll have to face with those consequences. But right. you know, they just gave us, they just gave me more time. They gave, I hope my opponents are working, you know, because I'm coming. I hope they know I'm coming. So if they're not working, they're gonna get smashed. I hope they are working. <laughs> right. That's how it is, man. That's how they that's how they come out there out of Brownsville, man. That's the attitude that we're coming with. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Chan. So, Chan, what, what kind of message would you just have for all the kids that you may inspire? Because, you know, you're going to grow. You're going to go into the pro. A lot of people are looking out for you. What, what would you tell them, man, in order to stay focused and, you know, handle their business? For the generations under me, I just want to tell you, um, keep your head on straight. You know, 
everything is not as bad as it seems. Just stay focused, you know, try to find something that takes you takes you away from whatever is going on in your life. You know, just try to focus on that one thing. If you got multiple things to focus on, just try to focus on all those things. But mainly one thing to focus on is to block out everything. You know, just mm. put you in a space where nobody can interrupt. Right. And, and, and for those who are fighting and, you know, what, what should they be working on in order to get better, take their game to the next level? You can never go wrong with a jab. Jab is the best, the best punch in the sport. Mm-hmm. Defense as well, but even the jab. Jab, jab, you can't go wrong with a good jab. You know, perfect that jab. The jab is never perfect. You got a good jab, but a jab is never perfect. So keep working on that jab. That's what my coach would tell me. Right, right. You could triple up on that jab, all that, man. Just keep it out there. <laughs> all right, Chad, no doubt. Chad, where, where can we follow you, man, for anybody that might not know for whatever reason? Follow me on Instagram at good.moneybj. Okay, okay. No yeah. doubt, Chance. So we're going to be looking out for you, man. I, I mean, this is going to be the first of many because, you know I mean, you're making a lot of noise. And yeah. we, we, like I said, we're going to be looking out for you in the future, Chance. All right, thank you. No doubt, Chance. You have a good night and happy holidays. Merry Christmas and everything. Good night. Happy holiday. All right, Chance. Peace.